hey you guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome um here lately i haven't posted much about me or any skincare makeup or anything like that because we got a new french dog french dog a frenchy a french bulldog and he has taken up all of our time but i um just wanted to pop in here and say that we're getting things organized and uh, I should be posting more content other content soon not just of the puppy I wanted to say thank you for being here thank you for supporting me and a little bit about me I'm 54 and I'm married to my soulmate of 28 years our son, who is an adult, he lives here with us. And uh, my husband and I are retired. Uh, we are both basically disabled. And yeah, I wanted to start this channel because I wanted to document my life. I wanted to share the struggles I've been through and because I know so many people go through things, bad things. And for me, uh, if I see someone that goes through something like I have, then it makes me feel not alone. Uh, because having a chronic illness uh, can be really, really hard. And unless you've walked through somebody who has a chronic, unless you've walked through their shoes, it is hard to describe how we feel, what we go through on a daily basis. We are actually stronger than the normal people because we put on a straight face when we feel horrible. But we don't want sympathy. We don't play the victim. We just wanted to be treated normally. And when we do feel bad, we want to be heard, you know. So try to give us a little bit of grace during those times. Because it's tough. It's really, really tough. Go ahead and put some of this on my face. To be honest, this last week, I've just been in puppy bliss. And I have not worn any makeup. I have wore pajamas every day and I don't have anything bad to say about that you know it's just what it is there are days that I don't get out of my pajamas and that's just the way it is and I'm fine with it but I am enjoying this channel um, and I want to go into story time with you guys because there's so many things I've overcame, so many things that I know there are other people out there like me who who need this, new need to hear that you will make it through it. You will make it through it. Sometimes it does not feel like it, especially right when you're right in the middle of it. Just know you will come out on the other side. You will get your life back. Be patient. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. And if you guys have not heard my story, I encourage you to go watch it because there's so many people struggling with hormone issues. So many women struggling with hormone issues nowadays that they have no clue no clue and i was one of those i was fatigued the pain all over had pain all over fatigue weight gain and just felt horrible and many many doctors couldn't figure out what it was but as you can see in this picture uh, i was very very sick and i had cushings and then after that right after that i got uh, pituitarism I don't know how to say it really good but it's when the pituitary in the brain stops working the way it does 
And then some people have tumors in their pituitary. I do not. I have a damaged pituitary. And it can be from car wreck I was in. I was in a couple car wrecks. It could be from cheerleading falling on my head. Um, it can be from just bumping your head. So, um, yeah. So, if you're having weird symptoms, you know, and you've been to several doctors and you're not getting answers, go see an endocrinologist. And, you know, if you have some of those symptoms, um, look up Cushing's or Adult Growth Hormone Deficiency. There are two excellent, um, amazing, actually, uh, groups on Facebook who have walked me through my whole thing. I've been lost without them. So if you guys suspect you have it, go join those groups because those ladies are amazing. They will answer all of your questions. And yeah, they will, they're eager to help you. They're super, super nice. So the doctors I see are at UT Southwestern in Dallas. But the main thing I wanna share is that if you're struggling, just know your hope, your time will come. You're going to get answers. Hang in there. Hang in there. Uh, I know without God, it would have been impossible for me to get through, I feel like. But he did it. He got me through. And another thing I want to talk about is... I had weighed 242 pounds during Cushing's. It's a picture right here. Um, and my whole life I'd been like heaviest ever, 150. And uh, ever since Cushing's, I, I ended up losing, when I got treatment, I ended up losing down to 180, which ended up being 60 pound loss. However, over this last six months, I've gained 12 pounds back and I just cannot get motivated I don't know what it is usually I don't have any issues um, I am having some bone pain from my vascular necrosis and that might be it uh, I'm not sure but I'm trying to get back on my weight loss uh, goals and get back on track and everything I'm just struggling but also, you know, take care of our body, especially us, because we already have issues, you know, and so we don't need anything with weight causing any other problems. I have, was just treated with antibiotics the last 10 days for a severe UTI, and uh, I'm feeling a little better. Um, so hopefully I can get myself together um, and uh, I'll be honest it's sugar for me sugar is the hardest thing as far as calories as far as meat and food I'm not a big I don't eat much but when it comes to hard candy and all that stuff uh, I struggle a lot a lot, a lot, a lot. So, and also I'm on a lot of medicine that causes weight gain. Um, I'm on a heart pill that is for high heart rate. And, uh, yeah, so I take Paxil. I've been on Paxil since 2007. And it's been a miracle drug for me. It's been amazing. For my anxiety and stuff like that. And yeah. Also, I've not been sleeping very well. I've slept the last... Hardly slept the last five hours in the last two days. It's been awful. So, I don't know what... So, yeah... That's what's been going on with me. I'm excited to get back on track of everything. But yeah, that's all I've been doing lately is taking care of puppies and just 
staying in my pajamas. But I promise I'm going to be getting some good makeup and skincare products for you guys. And if you don't know something about me, I love wearing my husband's oversized shirts. And they're so comfy. And my arms, I don't know if you can see it. Let me pull my sleeve up. My arms burn all the time. It is just something that's been this way since I've had Cushing's. And so even the lights burn burn my arms. So uh, there's how my nails turned out. I got these off of Etsy. And they're acrylic. You just glue them on. Really, really cute. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know I'm thinking of you. And I love you. You're not alone. And I will talk to you guys soon. I love you so much. Somebody came to see me, so I wanted you guys to say hi. Say hi, Stitchy Witchy. Say hi. Hi. Can you say hi? Say hi to everybody. This boy, <laughs> he is so energetic. He's so cute. Yes, come easy, mama. Oh, he loves his mom. He loves his mom so much. Yes. And does his mama. 